Hey guys, so this is what I look, what my hair looks like, I'm straightened, and what I look like without makeup. It's not the best, so I'm just going to get on with it. Um, basically this video is going to be about how to crimp your hair and how to get that groovy look. Sorry, I just dropped my straighteners. And how to get that groovy look. So the first thing I'm going to do is straighten my hair. And to do that, first of all, I've already sectioned off the back part of my hair, like so. Okay, and once that's done, I'm going to get a hairband and I'm just going to tie up one side of my hair. Okay, next then, because I've got layers, I want to separate the layers and um, straighten the long, the bottom bits first. So what I'm going to do is with my finger and um, yeah just my finger I'm gonna go straight through and part my hair and then I've got my layers like that if you've got any long bits just sort of pull them and they'll they'll sort of come out and then you just want to brush your layers to separate it properly and then you just want to Clip them up like so, and you look like an idiot, but it's fine. Okay, so once you've done that, just brush through the part that you're the part of your hair that you're straightening. And I'm going to use um, Tresemme heat protectant or heat defense. Okay, and this is smooth, which is just a natural hold. I think that just means, and it says it helps. Um, protect from cer ceramic straighteners, tongs and dryers, reduces frizz and adds shine. So it's pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hair up like that and just spray underneath. With my fingers just run through and then spray on the top as well. Brush that through. You don't want to spray too much because then it will become all greasy and horrible. Okay, and then you want to section off a very, very small part, or we'll separate it. Actually, I'll do a front part for you so you can see it. Okay, so I've got this small part here. I'm just going to quickly brush that through, so there's no knots there. I'm going to get my straighteners, and sort of straighten it all the way down. Okay, and then just continue to do that with the rest of your hair. Okay, so now it's time to crimp your hair, and crimpers should look like that. It's got like a zigzag metal plate or whatever it is, and I'm using the fabulous ones. And basically, I've clipped back my hair on this side, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick random sections of this half of my hair that I want to crimp. So I'm going to choose this middle top bit here, first of all. Okay, just brushing that through just to make sure that's that, that's the only part I'm getting. And then with my crimpers, I'm just going to go in and hold it for a bit. And then just work my way down that strip of hair. And you really want to hold it quite tight so that it actually crimps properly. Ok, 
Okay. So once you've done that then, you need to continue doing that to the rest of your hair. And I'll do another one just to show you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this bit here. So with a clip, I'm just going to clip that back. And I'm just going to pick that section in front of the hair. And I'm just going to go and clip that. Just right down. And you don't need to pull your hair. It's not like straightening it. You just need to hold the crimpers there for a little while. So can you see that? You really get it crimped. And it's all ziggy baggy. And then once you've done that, your hair should look like so. Okay? And then you just got to carry on with the rest of your hair. Okay, so once you've crimped the selected parts of your hair, okay, um, you're ready to do your makeup, you're ready to go out, you're ready to do whatever you want to do. Um, my hair, I've done the, I've chosen the middle band across there, so I've done these two, I've crimped these two, these two parts here. And I've crimped the two parts in front of my ears as well. Um, you can do more than that, you can do all your hair if you want to. Um, if you do do all your hair though, be careful because the last time I did it, I ended up looking like a poodle. So it is, you do have to be very, very cautious when doing it. Um, because it does actually add loads and loads of volume. And you can see that because if you look at my hair when it was straightened, it was pretty much like flat. But now that I've crimped it, it's added a bit it's added a bit of a bit more volume to it. So I really hope you enjoyed that and there's a there's a makeup look coming up after this one as well. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.